Well, motherly love. Wow, we all know the unsolicited advice, the unexpected visits, and of course, sometimes a little bit of the smothering. You get it all in the new movie, The Meddler. Susan Sarandon plays a mom who does not necessarily recognize personal boundaries. She comes from New Jersey to L.A. to live near her successful but still single daughter, played by Rose Byrne. Here they are sharing a Valentine's Day dinner when they're spotted by Rose's ex. Uh, well, we don't want to interrupt your, uh, your girl time. No, 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 it's fine. We're just doing a drive-by until I go out later. I didn't want her to have to spend Valentine's Day alone. <laughs> I didn't want her to spend it alone either. I'm not alone. No, we're together. Until later when I'm meeting other people. I thought we were having a sleepover. Nope. That's so cute. I wish my mom and I were that close. Aw, well, maybe when you get older. <laughs> the sleepover with your mom on Valentine's. Susan Rose, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Now, Susan, I have to say, I know your son-in-law, Kyle, pretty well. He's a friend of mine. And oh, he's, yeah, he's, I didn't know that. He says, you're nothing like this character. You're a wonderful mother, wonderful mother-in-law. You would never meddle or smother this That's way. That's true. I'm scared of them. I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting until she gets older, then I'm going to corrupt her completely. <laughs> Not now, not now. I'm, I'm very. I, I just babysit. I go by whatever their, you know, routine is. But you're lying in wait. That I'm comes lying later. In wait. Yeah, just yeah. snatch her up and corrupt her completely. <laughs> Rose, you're, you have a new baby, 11 week old son. Yeah. We hear that he's the manliest 11 week old. Susan so said, cute. such a it's cute so little. Butch. Did yeah. when you look at this character. How do you position yourself, having been a rebellious teenager? That's the word on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was, I was not an easy teenager, um, mm -hmm. but my mom was pretty laid back. She wasn't too overbearing. I was lucky, but mm -hmm. I definitely have had other people in my life who are a little bit more like Marnie, Susan's character in the film. So, yeah. What I love about this story too, Susan, is it's directly based on the relationship of the director and her mother. Yes. To the point, you were wearing their clothes. You yeah. shot in their house. Yeah, yeah. Dogs were her dogs. Her everything. Dogs. Yeah, I had, I had her mom's purse, but her mom wasn't allowed on the set because obvious reasons. She <laughs> but she's a great gal, and actually, when I saw this little sizzle reel that she put together of her mom doing the first five minutes of it, that, that's what made me jump in. But it's fun, you know. It's such a, it's such a funny movie, I think, and has some moving moments. So I, I don't mind at all being called a meddler. <laughs> and that's the interesting combination of the mother-daughter relationship. It's funny, it's tense, it's layered, and that's what you see with these characters, including that awkward moment on Valentine's Day that I, I would have just passed out if that <laughs> happened to me. Me too. That moment is like, that's too far. We, have, we were so lucky because there were so many stand-up comics and Cecily Strong yeah. and all these people that were the surrounding gave so much humor in all these little parts, which really made it just speed along. And of course, J.K. Simmons, as you've never seen him yeah. before. He's yeah. fantastic. He is awesome. But before we go any further, I want to tell the story of your ankle boot. Yes, Because a lot great. of people, they have injuries at the gym or something. But instead, how did you do this? I fell off a mountain in Columbia hiking. <laughs> just you can't just a, a random day Come in on. Susan's life. Is anyone yeah. cool and Susan Saran? <laughs> right? Come on. <laughs> but yeah. you're okay other than the I, I, ankle, no, thank I, goodness. It'll be, it'll be off in a couple months. It didn't have to be operated on or anything. And I planned, I did it at the bottom of the mountain. That was smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to go, let's it's go to the bottom. To the bottom. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to have a speedy recovery, I'm sure. And uh, then yeah. it'll be fine. You'll be back to the next mountain? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Before we let you go, we've got to ask you, 25th anniversary yeah. of Thelma and Louise. When you think about that role and what it meant for you and your career, you think what? Who knew? Yeah. I mean, we didn't think it would have, it upset people. You forget the backlash. Now we've kind of accepted it, but it's, it was really it caused people a lot of upset at that time. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I guess it's, uh, you know, what's unfortunate is that there still aren't that many women in films and lead parts. That's why this was so fortunate for me to get this. And I'd just like to say, call your mother. Yeah. Um, this. <laughs> T-shirt is being sold on omaze.com mm -hmm. slash Susan, and it goes towards a group that I work with in Uganda that uh, house child soldiers and uh, called Hope North. So if you go to omaze, like amaze.com slash Susan, mm -hmm. All right, well, that would be great. Good for you. Thank we you. will Thank check it out. This help. movie is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Susan Rose, congratulations. In just a minute, they'll be answering questions in our new Facebook Live booth. You can check it out Susan at facebook.com <laughs> slash today. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.